Hey fellas, it's Edge 4006. I just want to do a basic disassembly video of this uh, Luger P08 1920 commercial. Okay, one of the most important things you want to make sure before you disassemble a gun is it is clear. You want to go ahead and clear the gun? Let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to pull the magazine out real quick. I'm going to pull the action back. The extractor would have pulled the round out. It has not, so the weapon is clear. Again, we know that there is nothing in that chamber. I'm going to start off and try to keep it real short this time. I always say that, but I never do, but I'm going to try to keep it short this time. Basically start with, um, you want to have your magazine in. There's a way to do it without the magazine, but it's the easiest way. Just didn't have the magazine. Magazine installed. Inserted. Take the safety off. Take the safety off. And cock the gun back. Now it is cocked back. You can remove the magazine. And go ahead and start the disassembly process. You start by right here, this plate here, it's a slide plate. You just pull this notch down, pull the slide plate off, and go ahead and let the let the cock pull the uh, toggle back, let the toggle go forward, and that will take the top part of the pistol and the two pieces. So actually three now. This part, you, there's more you can take off. You can take off this trigger. It is very hard. If you do that, it's a spring because it's spring-loaded. If you do that, I don't recommend it. Uh, if you need to clean it out, go ahead. Um, I've done my cleaning on this video not too long ago. I've done the, clean, <laughs> the video, cleaning of this particular gun in the past not too long ago uh, after I shot it, so it's real clean. And like I told you, as you start taking this gun apart, you will see right here, you focus in real quick on this right here. You can kind of see these numbers as they start to come out like on this slide plate. <clears throat> there it is. And like I said, the numbers match. As these pieces start coming apart, you start seeing the matching numbers. Four nine. The last four the, the two last four digits or last two digits will be <clears throat> will be all over the gun. Uh, the first four, the first two aren't out of the four digit serial number. And you'll see them more and more. And you'll see different marks, proofing marks that are on here. There's some on here that come out. I don't think they're all going to come out in this video, but anybody who has one, you'll, you'll notice them. Again, I'm going to put that to the side. Now, over here at this piece, it's the toggle. You will see that these pieces kind of start popping out on their own. There's nothing, not, you know, you do want to remember to take notes the first time. Uh, definitely do. I'm going to go ahead and pop this pin out here. Usually comes out with no problem. One side, one side of it is uh, kind of flattened out to let the pieces or where they log in. You want to take notes of that, which side it came off, because this one has like a rim to it that holds all this pe these pieces together. So again, we're taking that piece out. And then now this part of the toggle comes out. Right here we have, there's another pin I can take out right here comes out like so and then this is the toggle this is the arm that, that lines into lines in the action and this is your striker there's your striker here again the striker is also numbered they're marked um, the pin also like I said has its mark there's one side that has a little rim to it the other one doesn't no this one doesn't have it actually goes in either way but this is your striker right here, your striker mechanism. Uh, you want to try not to dry fire it, like I said in the last video. I don't recommend it. This is a pretty cool part. Um, I would, I don't know, I've never used another striker on there, but some people I think I've heard of them putting on um, a striker that they buy just for, for shooting purposes and they keep the original one stored away to when they actually go to shoot. Um, you do want to make sure, of course, uh, before I assemble this gun, you do want to make sure that the chamber is clear. Because one thing about this Luger is that if it is chambered and you have all this actually still assembled like it was before, and you accidentally just push this button here, that will that will that will engage the striker fire and it will shoot. There is a story of a man that actually uh, I think he was taking apart his gun and cleaning it, and he had it all assembled, you know, like so, and. He had it all together. He hadn't taken it apart to that part yet, and supposedly he had it like this. 
and he hit that button and uh, that engaged a striker and he did shoot himself and they ended up, at least the story goes, rumor is they found him dead a couple days later. It took him a while to kind of figure out how he actually died until somebody kind of figured it out that he shot himself cleaning his gun. So um, I put this pin back in. We're going to go back to reassembly. Again, this is the barrel here. This barrel is removable. Um, there are some marks here. If you can close up on that. There are some marks here that tell you the lining of the barrel, if it's been rebuilt or not, or if it's original. Depending on how that, that line is there, is established. That's how you can tell uh, which barrel was put in. If it's original or if it's been rebuilt, um, depending how that line is set up, there's a book and whatnot you can look up to kind of check all those markings. It's pretty complicated. There's a lot of uh, people that say, you know, say this and say that. So I'm going to get, again, uh, the barrel is removable. You can actually put a 9mm barrel on here and take this 30 out. Uh, there's, you have to have some jig or heat it up, I imagine, to do it. So I would think this would be soldered in or... or uh, put together to where it can't come off easily. Uh, this is a 30 Luger, so let's go and put it back together. Hope you have it the right way, huh? Okay, and then go ahead and assemble this. These parts back in like so. We're going to line these up. These pretty much just slide in, just like any other slide mechanism. These slide in, and what we're going to do is we're going to reinsert this pin. Again, I took the the pin, the part of the pin that is uh, rimmed off this side, so make sure and put that in the way it goes. It does affect the gun. Now, to um, get this reassembled, there's a trick. You pretty much want to get this slide here. This is the important part right here. This little arm has to go in at a certain angle for things to work right, or it doesn't assemble. So one of the easiest way to do it is just to start it upside down get these components to engage and as you get to a certain point I don't know if you can see it right here once it gets to that certain point where that arm falls in okay uh, we've got the toggle lined up and the arm is where it needs to be you go ahead and test it out the best way to test it out is to go ahead put the magazine back in Let's pull the toggle back lock it into place Let's get our slide plate here and go ahead and install it. Oh. Give me trouble lately. There's a little trick to it. Hold on a second. Lock that forward. Now, pull the magazine out and let's test the action so it goes in the battery. It is cycling properly just like it's supposed to. So, everything is assembled and we're <clears throat> now the assembly is complete. Well, that's pretty much all there is to it. There is more detailed assembly you disassembly you can do. Um, if you want to take it all down and take the grips off, you can take the spring out that's that's uh. Uh, guiding the the action on the arm for it to come back. Um, I've never done that. You can. Um, yeah, it's not necessary. Everything works fine. This gun. If it isn't broke, I'm not going to fix it. All right, guys. Edge 4006 signing out. Fight the good fight, man. Keep your group style, brother.